Hi everyone, this is Miss Danielle, and today we're going to read the story called Granny's Clan by Dr. Sally Hodson and read with permission from Dawn Publications. In cold dark waters, a tiny newborn struggles to breathe. Little one, I am here to help. Granny slips beneath her littlest great-grandchild with a gentle push, she lifts him to the surface. The baby opens his blowhole and takes his first breath. A new life begins, an old life continues. Granny guides the baby to his mother, Samish. At his mother's side, the baby floats. They breathe and swim as one. Granny calls the family to welcome the newborn. Suttles meets her baby brother. Mako greets his baby cousin. Near Granny rises the huge wave of wavy fin of her son Ruffles. One by one, each of the family surfaces to breathe. Whoosh, 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 loud blasts of air and mist explode from each blowhole. Voices of the family surround the little one with songs of the Orca clan. Mothers and grandmothers, daughters and sons, brothers and sisters, uncles and aunties, grandsons and granddaughters gather to celebrate. The family travels on, they dive together, they rise together, they breathe together, they call to each other to keep the family together. They search for salmon to fill their hungry bellies and without salmon, Grammy's, Granny's family could not live. For a hundred summers and a hundred winters, the sea shared her secrets with Granny. Granny knows where the salmon swim when tides change or when winds shift or waters warm or winter storms blow. With Granny in the lead, the family spreads out to hunt. They swim through ribbons of dancing brown kelp among seals searching for rockfish. Near an octopus clutching a crab, above sea stars stretched over rocks, close to pelicans diving for fish snacks under jellyfish drifting with tides. They swim past herons stalking on stick legs beside sea otters dining on urchins, over hermit crabs hiding in seashells, around seabirds surfing on breakers, beneath bald eagles soaring with winds, by a humpback whale playing in waves. Each of the family sends out beams of sonar clicks. Click, click, click. They listen as their sounds bounce off rocks, fish, and sea life. Echo, echo, echo. The echoes return as pictures made of sounds. In darkness, they see how big, far, fast, and what shape. Shark to the right, squid to the left, salmon ahead. With a burst of speed, they overtake the salmon. Calls to each other flow back and forth. Tail flukes slap the sea with thunder. Swirls of silver salmon flee and empty orca bellies fill. At the edge of the hunt, Samish watches. Her rich milk feeds the newborn at her side. Ruffles catches a fish that tries to hide in kelp. To Samish, she offers a gift of salmon. A call from Granny brings young Suttles and Mako to her. Both want to learn to be great hunters of salmon. With Granny's help, they learn to see outside and inside of all shapes around them. They scan swift currents for echoes of salmon. They learn the sounds of each salmon clan, of Sakai and Koho, of Chum and Chinook. A salmon darts out from the safety of the rocks. Who will be first to catch it? In a great rush, Suttles dashes after the fish, but the shimmering salmon slides out of her grasp into the waiting jaws of Mako. Bitten in two, the fish is shared by the young hunters. Graceful sailboats groan, swift speedboats whine, stout ferries clang, busy fishing boats chug, huge tankers rumble, noise drowns out the family's calls to each other. Toward the family, many boats hurry. Louder they howl, faster they rush. Suttles and Mako still play in the waves. A speedboat races towards them. To the left it zigs, to the right it zags. Closer and closer the speedboat zooms, propeller blades scream of danger. Dive, dive! When they hear the family's warning, the cousins vanish beneath the waves. With a roar, the speedboat leaps over them. A boat with a flag reaches the speedboat and guides it away. The other boats slow down and quiet their engines. Suttles and Mako swim close to Granny's side. Around them hover boats filled with people watching. The cousins swim with Granny through the maze of boats. Granny spy hops, Mako spins a cartwheel. Suttles flips a headstand. The people laugh and clap, whistle and shout. The children wave their arms at Suttles and Mako, and the cousins wave their fins at the children. The family seeks rest in a quiet cove. They gather close together and drift with the waves. Soft calls flow from one to another. They doze, they dream, they remember to breathe. Boom, crash, splat. Noise from loud splashes awakens the family. Mako and Suttles burst from the water, not ready to take a nap. Each tries to jump higher, faster, farther. 
Granny calls the noisy players to join her beneath the waves they created. Far below the sleeping family, Granny teaches the young ones songs of the Orca clan. As Granny's lullaby ends, the singers return to quiet rest with the family. When the family awakens, Granny sings the clan song of coming together. Through miles of deep water canyons, Granny's powerful voice travels to find the other clan families. From near and far, each family answers the eldest clan grandmother with their own family call. We are coming. All the clan families, mothers and grandmothers, daughters and brothers and sisters, uncles and aunties, grandsons, sons and granddaughters come together again. A great super pod gathers. They greet old friends, they welcome new babies, they remember lost ones, they celebrate togetherness. Sounds of play fill the air and water. They mingle and touch, tumble and roll, spy hop and somersault. Fins splash, tails slap, bellies flop. Upside down tails wave in the wind. Mako wraps kelp around his tail, flukes and fins. Subtles balances a fat salmon on her head. With a flick of her tail, Granny slides beneath the waves. Deeper and deeper into darkness, she dives. When she reaches sea bottom, she streaks toward the light. Water explodes beneath her as she leaps from the sea. When she can fly no higher, she spins, twirls, and returns to the sea. Water and wind bring distant voices to Granny. Not songs of other orca clans hunting for seals. Not songs of porpoises fishing for herring. Not songs of salmon searching for home. Granny knows th these other voices that call. Standing on the rocky shoreline, people of all ages sing to honor the orcas. Swimming along the rocky shoreline, orcas of all ages sing their songs to the people. With Suttles, Mako, and the family beside her, Granny sings songs of her orca clan. Voices from the sea mingle in harmony with voices from the land. To people and orcas, the gift of friendship returns. No longer do they fear one another. Now they sing songs together and share the seas. And that is the end. Hi everyone, it's Miss Danielle and today we are going to make our whale tail mosaic. Um, so you should have picked up your kit from the library and in the bag there are instructions on how to do the whale tail mosaic. Uh, just a couple quick notes. Make sure you peel the film off of your uh, photo frame. Uh, Miss Danielle did not remember to do that for her first one, and uh, that was something that we had to start over together. So make sure you peel off the film, um, and then you are ready to get started. I personally found it a little bit easier to lay the stones out. This is your glue and your little applicator. And I found it a little easier to lay the stones out onto the template, um, onto the picture frame, the plastic frame. I do have books in there to prop it up so that they don't slide off. And all you're gonna do is lay your stones out. Again, you can do this before you start or you can do it after. Um, you'll cut your whale tail from the stencil, the template, cut it out on the black paper. For this one, you'll see I use the white tail and for the finished product, I have the black. Um, and so these are not glued on and I'm just gonna glue them on one by ones. As you can see here, I forgot to take off the film from the picture frame. That is why that is not the finished product. And once you glue everything on, you can let it dry for a couple of hours. And this will be your finished product. And that is it. That is your whale tail mosaic.